you know this is only called a huanca. That is a massive huanca, if I've ever seen one. Don't you agree? Yeah, so there's no one big bus terminal here in Lima. Not like a bus station. Yeah, so yeah. each company, which are, regarding, well, depending on what company you're with, there'll be different places in Lima, so you just got to be careful of that. So. Uh, we just got to the bus station. Um, they print out our tickets. Uh, they pick our luggage and they give us a little um, thing. Please. Yeah, we're just gonna get a bus to Barranca now, about four hours, four or five hours. Oh, we've got a first seat. Yeah, we've got, we've got the front no. seats, so uh, it's going to be a fun ride. Yeah. We've got up early, we've got up at like half we'll five, six o'clock. We'll yeah, we woke up quite early. So we've got about, I don't know, ten minutes to our bus. So hopefully we can sleep or relax a little bit. Oh, good. I'm tired. So, uh, yeah, we will see you in Barranca. So we just got on the bus and... Uh, Places. They've got curtains between everyone. Hello. Hello. Oh, please put the curtain back so you don't touch me. <laughs> that better? Yeah. Okay, so we've arrived in Barranca. Uh, Woohoo! It's, uh, it's very different to what we used to. Or what we've been experiencing in Colombia, this town. It's a small town. And I don't know if you noticed that most of the are not finished. The point of that is for the Yeah, this is when we last went to Cusco. A guy who was giving us a tour said, yeah, they don't finish the buildings, and if they don't finish them, they don't have to pay the tax on them. So yeah. that's why it looks a bit rubbish. Yeah, but it's different, so it's cool in a way. Yeah, yeah it is cool. Electric oh, God. Yeah. There are a lot of tuk-tuks around, so I guess that's how we're going to get around. Yeah. Um, so we're walking to our hostel now, and then we've got nothing planned for this afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, Peru is definitely, we're taking it a bit different than Colombia. We're slowing things down here. Yeah, we are doing it a bit slower. and. Uh, because we have a lot more of a big things to see instead of just town. Yeah, so, exactly. So we'll be spending more time in the cities because we will need a full day for one thing to do. Yeah, so that's the plan anyway. Why? So um, we just found this um, very exclusive shopping centre, shopping mall would you call it. Shopping which mall, yeah. It's just crazy because uh, if you look on the cross, cross side of the road, it just, it's like a... This is how the rest of the town is. Yeah, and, and then, then you got this is a the shopping mall. Shopping mall. <laughs> it just doesn't go. We will show you the rest of the town in a sec. Yeah. So this is the shopping mall. It just does not go with the rest of the town. Oh, we're just walking around. Yeah. We'll get lunch. Yeah. Somewhere or dinner to the place. Yeah, somewhere else. Not KFC. <laughs> Okay, stop recording now, then you should check how much it can see. Okay. I've got your camera. Oh no. <laughs> so this is the actual barranca. Not like the mall. No, the rest of it's like this. It has a little bit of a Beijing vibe to me. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know, I don't get that yet. No? no. The tuk-tuks and the cables. Huh? So many tuk -tuk. You might need to shout. It wasn't that loud a minute ago. No. Just coincidence. I think this is the busy road. Yeah. We're gonna go somewhere quieter now. I think Ash are looking for food options, but we're very limited to what we can get. So we can get chicken over there. Is that chicken? We can get chicken with stuff here. Or if you go over there, get some chicken. Or up there and get some chicken. So. Or we can get juice. Oh. Or we can get chicken. Chicken with chips. Yeah. Or we could go to that chicken shop over there. 
maybe. That's a contender. The, the worst thing is, we can't make our minds. <laughs> no, I don't think we want chicken. There's, yeah. <laughs> so much chicken. Yeah. So we're going to go further into town and hopefully there's something other than chicken. Not chicken. Ceviche. Ceviche. Or chicken. <laughs> so we're at the centre, we're going to have a look around here and we'll find something. There was one we saw earlier which is quite cheap. Yeah. So we might go there I think. Yeah. And then have a nice dessert. And maybe some chicken. <laughs> If we're lucky, check it. This is the main square really. Very nice. Very nice, it feels okay. They say yeah, so different from fine. what we saw in the mall. It's crazy. Yeah, and so different to Lima. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is the place. They got other stuff. Oh I like this. Like this. Me too. Yeah. Sauce and gold, La Granja Farrellis. Is that a bit? So we came in, got a view over the city, but we don't know if they serve us at the table because there was a till downstairs and we don't know if we go down there. Oh, we're getting, we're getting the menu. We're getting the menu. So uh, we went for noodles in the end and this is what we got drink, salad, noodles. For 10,000 souls, which is. For 10 souls. I'm thinking on one Colombian money still. For 10 souls, which is two pounds, all of this. Bargain, yeah? A nice big plate for us to fill us up. And how does it taste? So good. It's so really good. nice. So after our budget dinner. We had nice pudding. That's why we saved ourselves. Oreo cheesecake and just some crazy cake for Kasha. Yeah, the condensed milk on mine. It's just it's definitely condensed milk. Yeah. It is. Okay, so we went to the shop and we bought some Inca Cola. This is absolutely everywhere in Peru. So, we're going to have to try it. We've got the sugar free one, so. A bit... He must have looked at me thinking, oh, she needs a sugar free. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we're not getting the real Inca taste. It, it tastes like um, the, um, Colombian one. It's a bit like bubble gum. They like the bubble gum flavour. It is a bit bubble gummy. It's good. Easy bubbly. For a for a soft drink, I'd probably give it a 5 out of 10. We have got the sugar free one. Yeah. So probably a yeah, 5 maybe. It's not, not the worst I've had. He didn't ask us if we want a sugar free, he just gave it to us. Just so. gave it to us, yeah. I, I just had the dinner and a cake, so... Maybe we do need sugar free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lovely cake. My cheesecake was divine. Mm, and my cake was lovely, but it's too big. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to the beach. We're going to have a look at the beach now and see what it's. See, see how nice it is. So, all the ice cream vendors have had their tough day at the beach and they're all coming back. Alright, let's have a look at this beach. Ooh. Look at that cactus, it just looks like it's. Come huh? here. That cactus just looks like it's chilling on the post. Can you see? Like an arm. Oh, I see, yeah. This is the coast. Look at the beautiful plants. These palm trees are... So clean. Just pure paradise. The weirdest coast we've ever seen. So, it might not look quite ugly, but to us it looks really interesting and in a way beautiful. Yeah. It yeah, the town is, is so interesting. Interesting, yeah. That's a oh. nice beach. Yeah, the sun looks good. Yeah, wow. Look at this nice beach. So the sand down here looks quite nice. And there's going to be an amazing sunset, I think. Do you not think? Probably. Do you want to lay down on the mattress? 610.
Oh, she yeah, has lay on the mattress and watch the sunset. Okay, we're gonna sit here and enjoy the view. Good morning. Good morning, from Baranka. Um, today we are heading off to Aspero, mm -hmm. which is an incredibly old archaeological site, about half an hour away by car. So we're gonna go into town. We're gonna try and get a Collectivo, yeah, which is like a, a minivan which goes places which they wait to fill up before they leave anywhere which and it's full of locals full of yeah. locals and it's going to be really cheap and that's like uh, i think for two of us one way is six um no 250 each uh yeah and um so it's so one pound each way and yesterday we spoke with the reception and they was trying to push a taxi on us which would have been 15 pounds but the taxi driver would have been waiting yeah, yeah. so it was much more expensive they were trying to get us and yeah the hotel was trying to get us to go with their friend the taxi driver mm -hmm. which would have been 80 souls yeah yeah we said no rather than five souls to get to Supe, yeah and then we've got to go from Supe to aspero yeah. so which surely not going to be 14 pounds no exactly no. so we're just going to go try and do it ourselves so we're going to leave the hostel now go to the site uh we've had to reserve it and the one the next day we've had to reserve as well. Mm -hmm. So otherwise we probably wouldn't be able to get in. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna head off now. It's about, what, eight, half eight? Yeah. And our reservations for 10 o'clock. Yeah. So Same let's go. We're on the Collectivo. Um, it's just driving around, picking up people. No, no, I have my wife. There's not many, have a look at them. Oh, I have like minibuses like this. So, Literally, as we walked, as we walked, we went past. Someone yeah. jumped out, shouted, <laughs> and we got in. Yeah. So okay. we're on our way now. Yeah. Easy. Hello. So we got out the collective ball. There's a uh, Supe Puerto in the Supe district, and for Aspro, it's just outside Supe Puerto. So very close. On. We said Paraki and then some guy we said Aspro and then some guy on the collectivo said told us yeah this is right here we can get a motor taxi for and five four five souls it's half an hour walk so we're gonna walk it because we are very early we're early this is the town this is Super Puerto we just had some um, ham and no ham and egg and uh, chicken rolls. chicken rolls they're one soul each which is and pence. I bought coffee. And this is not coffee. Tastes like oat milk. Strange, strange. Sweet oat milk. Sweet not oat sure. milk. So anyway, we're working to walk into Aspero. Take us about half an hour from here. Yeah. See you later. See you later. This is what road is taking us. Where the map says. We go where the map says. <laughs> it's a little bit run down, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he's dodgy here or he just feels dodgy because he's run down. I, I think... Down yeah, yeah. And everything is dirty because of the sand and the wind. Yeah. Yeah, nice here. yeah very nice. Yeah, good point actually. Oh, okay. gracias. Okay. So just ask for a direction because Oh, so we have to pass next to this township thing, Pop. Do we? Oh, she said like all the way straight. Maybe. Maybe. Look at this road, it's crazy. I better put camera away because I'm gonna slide. So after walking for not that long. It's about 20 minutes. We've got a sign for that. 3,000 to 1,800. That is BC when it says that. So that's how old, 3000 BC. Crazy. That's crazy. BC that. means before Christ. Yeah. Why is this? Do you think that is. Oh They're no. just planting trees. Planting trees, yeah. I thought like seven. Look <laughs> at this. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, up there is like the entrance welcome centre. Yeah. And it's not that far at all. It's not even 30 minutes, it's 20 minutes. Yeah. Where we get dropped off. Yeah. So definitely get dropped off and walk. Yeah. And even though yeah. the town looks like it does like this, it looks 
for absolutely fine walking through. Yeah, people, we asked a few people for the dialects and they were fine. And now people were staring at us, they weren't like, what yeah. are these gringos doing here? Yeah. They just like went on with their business. Yeah. So, nice. When I... And it looks like when we're here we can get a motor taxi back, but... The walk's so short, it's just no point. Yeah, we'll decide after. Look at their parking spaces. And look how many tourists there is. It's empty. But there's shots still, isn't it? Or the Maybe it's shot still. Open. Maybe that's why it's empty. <laughs> this site had only like 20 reviews on TripAdvisor. Exactly. It's not a much visited site at all no. compared to the sacred city. Yeah. So let's go in. Buenas. Buenas. Buenas días. Okay. So we got in. Um, how much was it? 11 tolls? Each plus 20. Because plus 20, you have to go around with uh, a guide around these sites. I think we're the only tourists here. Yeah. By the looks of it. Yeah. Yeah, so there's 23 sites in the Supe Valley. All the way up here. Uh, this is where we are down here. In Aspero. Um the biggest one, Ciudad Sabrada Corral, is where we're going tomorrow. And these break date back to 3000 BC, as we said before. But there's so many sites dotted along the valley, they've all got uh, these pyramid structures. And the, that's the capital, and I think he said they recognize it's all the same civilization because of the same, same way the of building. Built. Yeah. Because yeah. it's right next to the coast and everything. They were, what well, they think, what well, they know, they were skilled fishermen being right next to the coast because they found loads of uh, fishing equipment like nets and stuff like that really elaborate ones for their time especially look 7,000 years ago the population of the coastal part of Supe exploited the abundant marine resources 7,000 years ago wow. and then uh, different cities which were shown on the first uh, part it just shows you they were like being put strategically in different places and uh, cities were like the, uh, the the Aspro had the fish, and then the different um, cities had like some fruit, veg, yeah, um, meat, and they were sorting. So it's very much a fish diet here in Aspro. Yeah. yeah, basically they're saying they used to fish like this, like in groups with big nets. So pretty much like the modern day. Well, probably. this is what they're saying. This is their nets five, to five, seven thousand years ago. This is the modern day net with the floaties nets this was this is nylon they use cotton but pretty much same, the same from seven thousand years ago which is crazy they use the same techniques and everything yeah. in the super they district. were very smart or um, extremely smart stupid. yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a site this is where they perform ritual ceremonies how are they supposed to perform ritual ceremonies if they can't even fit inside the building ridiculous so based on the figurines and fragments of things that they found here, I mean this is what the people were dressed like and looked like back in the time of Aspro. Yeah. So that's the representation. Oh, so I had those shoes. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. We live in the same way. We live in the same clothes. Maybe you should get the whole outfit, Kasha. Yeah, I'll She's got the same hair as you. Mm -hmm. They were 30 years old, this, the man they found was 30 years old, he's Met 160 one. centimetres tall, so yeah. he's quite small. Uh, your height. Yeah, I'm joking. They wrapped him with cotton fabric and a mat and then they tied it up with ropes and the string made of the cotton fabric. And then And they found, this is what they found, that, that's him inside with the hair bun, you can see his hair all tied up still. So, and then the women had a, a cloth over their head. And they only recognised it was a woman because they had thought of those little birds which a woman used to use for their um, this. Um, blanket. <laughs> like a little cardi. Cardi, yeah. Like these things. Yeah. So we're going over the hill and we're expecting to see something. Oh, wow. This is Aspero. So we're going down now to Aspero. 
Um, we just did a little tour inside, just showing the sword guard what I found, the civilization at the time. Um, and as you can see, this is this is the place now we're going to. And still, we are the only tourists, which is quite cool. Having the whole place yourself. So actually, only in 2005, the, they decided, like the locals and American archaeological people, decided to remove 8,400 8, tons of garbage from this site. It was pure garbage. People of Supa used to use um, this as a like, garbage dump. Yeah. And um, not that long ago, in 2016-17, they found the uh, body of 40-50 um, year old woman. So 2017, only five years ago. Yeah, it's And crazy. 2018, they found uh, two pieces of um, of something. Got and they're still, they're still digging here? Yeah, they're, they're still, still digging. We're, like, we're looking at this there. digging because it's, they might find here so much more. They, yeah, so they're still working on it. It's such a new site. It was only open to tourists like 10 years ago. Yeah. If that, even less. So it's quite a new site in terms of uh, visitor attractions. Yeah. So this was just all garbage. Yeah, 8,400 eight, uh, 8, tons of garbage. Until they got permission to remove it all and like start digging up the site and use it yeah. now as a tourist destination. But as I say, they're still digging. So there's still stuff here which like they'll find. Gym. There's probably more bodies, I don't know. Yeah, probably. This is a close-up of the mound. They found the lady buried down here. Um, there may be more. The main staircase going up there to the top of the mound. Uh, I'm not sure why he's standing there. But it's impressive, considering how goddamn old it is. Okay, so here we have the main circular plaza just right in front of us. So this bit here it's just this bit here you can see like part of the circle and the main staircase going up just ahead of us and you see like the skull and the body and stuff that was found down here underneath the circular plaza also in 2017 no 2018 they found those they found these bits in this plaza in this bit as well yeah so this is fairly recent and um these are, I mean, this place, this site, these pyramids are older than the ones in Egypt. Which Can you believe it? Yeah. It's crazy. When the most known pyramids, obviously, in the world, and these are older than and that. People don't know about this. We didn't know till we like googled things to do in Peru and like. Yeah, exactly. We would have gone straight past this place because we didn't know anything about it. So um, it's crazy. Here's the Huaca Alta where they perform the indigenous ceremonies and then in the earlier 20th centuries looters completely destroyed this place like in the middle they used dynamite and made a massive hole which is the other side of there which completely ruined it's like an yeah, they made an irreparable loss to the the culture of the site this whole site is ridiculous okay you can see this is all made from dynamite a massive hole Pyramid sacrifices. They actually found a ten-year-old child here. And an eight-year-old. And if you can see that picture there was a brush to compare how big the child is. It was a painting brush. Do you see? Yeah. So they found those around those sort of sacrificing children at these pyramids here. Yeah. Okay, so they built this. This is the way they built them because he's materials he used inside and this bottom platform. They made it all like this to make it earthquake resistant. But somehow it worked, which is crazy. Yeah, which yeah, stops the wall falling. Stop Without fall. this, the wall would have fallen. Yeah, exactly. And they got all this stuff, all the material from all over there, from the mountains there. over there. So, uh, pretty impressive, quite cool, you can see it. So we've done a little tour around the pyramids and the sac sacrificial pyramids and all the other bits. Um, so just us and the guide. Yeah. So I'm thinking if you do come here, I don't know if it's because of everything that's going on and why it's so quiet, but we didn't need a reservation. I think they were just happy to see people. Yeah. 
Yeah. But we actually, I've just noticed some people that are walking in the distance. Yeah, on top of the hill over there. The first sign of life we've seen. Yeah. So and it's quite it's cool. Uh, 20 to 11. 20 to 11. Yeah. So, you probably, they didn't even ask about a reservation here. No. So, this one, because it's quite quiet and quite unknown, reservation probably not necessary. No. Um, but I definitely would recommend it because it's the whole experience of, uh, like for us, getting the collective to Supai, then walking here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think it's just, yeah. Walking through that little town. It's just, yeah. It's quite cool. It's like the whole experience of a... Uh, yeah. And how long, how long have we been here? Oh, how I don't know. Four hours? Hour and a half? Yeah. Hour and a half. Okay, so we finished our bro. Uh, we liked it, we did like it. Um, so you have to pay 11 souls each to get in, and then you have to have a guide. And you I mean, pay 20, or oh, it doesn't matter how many of you is, you just pay 20. So if there's more of you in a group, obviously it's gonna yeah. be better, but 20,000, um, 20, 20 souls for a guide, which we had to pay. He was incredible if you understand Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, the good thing is, like, Everything, if, was in English. everything was in English. We could have walked around by ourselves yeah. and read it all. But like he was really trying, and he was like just telling it us everything. So we just pretended that we understand. We're like, well, yeah. While well, I was trying I had, to read the board yeah, while he was speaking. Say me, I've got glasses, so I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to read. Um, so yeah, it's annoying that you have to have a guide, but you have to have a guide to stop you. Going on destroying the place, the place yeah. and going places you shouldn't because there's like no walls nothing to be honest just like I bet stone. at night people can just like walk up there yeah you could you could just walk in there yeah. go on the site if you wanted to I mean, the obviously incredible don't do thing to me was that it's just so new such a new tourist thing yeah and uh, that they still looking for things so in 10 years time there might be so much more there yeah i mean they're still digging and um as I say again, we were the only ones there. Mm. Yeah, actually, those people who we saw, there wasn't tourists. They were like locals just crossing. Just crossing past. Home. So <laughs> literally, we were the only ones on the whole site. Yeah. And it's what half eleven. Yeah. So Something they're getting like, no one at the moment. They yeah. need visitors, and it's because it's so unknown. We checked the book um, of people coming. They like to have uh, like two, one or two persons. Yeah, there was. A I don't think yesterday had anyone. No. Um, on the 6th, what's today? 9th, yeah. Nice today. Um, when I was filling out the book, it was for foreign tourists though. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah the last attention. foreign tourist was on the 6th. So, and it's the 9th today. So that's how, say, unknown it is to tourists. Um, and I say, it's definitely worth a visit. And it was easy to get to, very easy. So, so easy actually, to get Caral, to. it seems like more of a hassle than this place. Yeah, if you want a quick, easy trip yeah. from Go to Baranca. Baranca. You can, you can um, to be honest, we could have done that on our first day. Yeah, we really could yeah. have. Yeah, we just but didn't then realize. again, uh, because in Colombia we rushed a lot of places and we got ourselves really tired, we don't want to do the same thing here. So, and then tomorrow we're going to Corral. Yeah, we're Again from Barranca, we're going to get a Colectivo to Supe again and then get another Colectivo to Corral and Corral is the biggest, uh, largest, yeah. oldest, oldest city. Yeah, but th this time collective is going to be to Supe District. Supe District, yeah. we're in Supe Puerto now. Yeah. Which is there next to each other, so it's yeah, fine. Yeah. Um, and it'll still be five souls for the two of us. Yeah. So tomorrow, yeah, we're going to Corral, which is the oldest, biggest city in That's this like area. That's like the capital of the, the, the one uh, we saw today. Really excited for that tomorrow. So you're gonna have a chill day for the rest of the day and do that tomorrow and then head off to our next destination which will be Juarez. Yeah. Okay, so let's head back. Hey doggies. Problems of wearing sandals when you visit places like we did today. It's uh look. You can see the pure dirt and where the sandal Problem being in a hot place, shower is freezing. Look how dirty I'm wearing sandals in these places. And the showers are cold. No, we were going to 
relaxed, so we thought we'd come down to the beach. It's a nice beach. Yeah. Baranka has a nice beach. We could relax here for the day if we wanted to. But we're not going to do that. It's like a mist coming in from the water. Yeah, I can see right in Baranka there. Yeah. It's cool. Cool. Splashing, crashing. Splashing, smashing, and caravaning. 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 Yeah. Baranka. Baranka. What a beautiful place. Good morning. So Hello. we made it to Super District. Uh, we asked to get drop, drop, dropped off in a plaza. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we walked around and asked few people where to get a collective motor car. It's going to cost us 15 each. Um, the only thing we bought it a little bit because we don't have enough cash. We can get there, but we can't get back. <laughs> um, yeah. So, we're praying they can take card at the Sacred City. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't know what they'll do. We look for cash points around here in Super District. As one, it didn't work. Yeah. So we're just gonna go there and pray and hope. Otherwise we're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> so we should look. Yeah. So we just found some money. <laughs> Not in on the street. We found a little purse. Yeah, we found a hundred. Put it away. So um, we are lucky. Because uh -huh. <laughs> we got told we can't pay by card. Uh, Corral. There is no cash machine here. And there's no cash machines in this village just where we came from there was some. So we were like, what were we doing? So Cash said just check that little money thing again. Yeah, because we've done it before, we thought we don't have anything and then we found the in-between card. Yeah, so yeah. we're lucky. So we're in a collectivo now in Super District. Does it say what load is that on? Uh, I can check on my phone. Yeah, check on your phone. Because it's not in the centre that you get mm -hmm. the collective mm -hmm. So the corner of JR Lamar and what's this road? I don't know if you'll be able to tell. And Avenue Panamericana NTE. Yeah. And Junior Mar yeah. on that corner you'll see a row of and the Collectivos there's another one behind us. Yeah. But the thing is with these you have to wait until it's full yeah. before it will leave. So um, there's only three of us here. And I don't think there's many tourists, so we could be here a while and our yeah. booking's at ten. So we're gonna see how it goes when we get there. Should be all right. We're hoping it's a bit like Asbro where it's so quiet they just let us in. Yeah. But this is more popular this place. I think more people from uh, Lima are gonna be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. But personally, I think look how cheap. So it's gonna cost us sixty by transport. It's gonna cost us sixty six. That's just over ten pounds for both of us. Mm -hmm. Sixty six. Oh, I want to say how much is that? Um, sixty six is about twelve pounds. Um, maybe thirteen pounds. No, it's more. Hold it. Sixty six. Yeah. Not thirteen pounds. Um, actually, it's just to be sure that I'm checking. Just gonna be sure. Yeah. Get the precise figure for you. Oh no, you was right. Twelve thirty-nine. Yeah. And then. So yeah, and then entry is gonna cost us eleven. Eleven each, and then we need we need a guide again for twenty. You can't do it without. So there you go. So that's forty-two. So um, overall, it's hundred to twenty pounds. Unless we tag onto another group, and our fee will be a little bit smaller. Mm. I don't know. We'll have a look actually if there is anyone like on the wrong us down here. So we're just gonna wait. I don't know how long we're gonna wait for but we will see. Someone went to buy me a roll while we're waiting. With a lot of finger showing, I don't know if you can see it.
<laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna see what he got. What did you get? That was cheese in one. Yeah. The other one, the one below, I'm not even sure what that was. Oh, I think we're going. So we've arrived. So we've arrived at Corral and we're at the entrance. And there's literally one car was here and one, another one pulled up. There's no workers, there's no... There's um, no one for us to buy tickets. Oh uh, yeah, good point. Here you see, 3,000. Before Christ, there's Corral. If you go way along, then you got Machu Picchu. 1,470 oh, AD. Yes, we got a guide. Uh, we were really lucky because actually eight people turned up. You're going to have groups of ten. <coughs> yeah. So we're piggybacking and we're paying half the tour guide. Yeah, they don't know where they're going to the with Yeah. This site is about 5,000 years old, this uh, city. It's the oldest city in the Americas, which is crazy. And it already is breathtaking. Like, I mean, you've got the mountains in the background of the city, which yeah. just make it so much more impressive. Mm. The altar of the sacred fire is a private ceremonial building located in the, in the walled space of the temple. And they have um, underfloor ventilation ducts for fireplaces where they used to burn offerings like animals and stuff like that. That happened here. Incredible. Yeah. So, what you're seeing now is. The only tour group. Us, yeah. ten of us. Yeah. Um, in this massive, massive site. So, there's not a lot of tourists. We thought there would be more tourists here. There aren't many at all. I think this is a little bit of a hidden gem anyway. I think so. Because yeah. the other people we, we spoke to coming to Peru, none of them had this on their list. Yeah. So, maybe a hidden gem. So, this is the temple of the amphitheater. And this was the main area of the lower part of the city. So there's a lower part and there's an upper part, upper part of the city. And this was pretty much used for ceremonial purposes and administrative purposes. And it was a control point for the road to the upper half of the city. Why you need that one up half of the city's up there, a control point for the road. Enormous, yeah. Is enormous. So back in the day when it was inhabited there was three thousand inhabitants here. 3,000 people, and if you include the neighbouring sites and villages where other people were that used this centre, there would have been around 20,000 at some point. It shows you how little population needs to be. Yeah, but yeah. still, 20,000 people around here is quite impressive. So here's like residential buildings of the people. People who lived in these buildings had high social status, judging by like how close they are to this massive pyramid here. Right here in front of us is where they did offerings. You can see the fireplace, the holes, and the underneath vent system, which goes underneath the floor. And this is where they did offerings of, you know, animals and farm produce to their gods, the sacrifices to their gods. This is where they burnt them, in this room here. And that's where they lived. Right next to this impressive building, this impressive pyramid. It says that this place is haunted and at night you can see like the original native Indians like running around in a certain ceremonial thing. Really? No, I'm joking. Oh, I was going to say, how on earth did you understand that? <laughs> <laughs> like this building, you can see how intact it is compared to Aspera. It's because the early abandonment in 2000 BC, so they abandoned this really early, this city. And it was only discovered very late in 1948, so there weren't looters. Mm. So that's why it's in such good condition. And the fact that they didn't find much here, like ceramics or anything, there wasn't much here anyway for people to loot. So that's why it's so good, so well preserved.
sign of war. Apparently they, these guys lived in peace the whole time because there's no sign of war, no signs of weapons, no signs of like mutated bodies. Yeah, I guess middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere, no exactly. Anything. So they, they left because of drought. Did you know this stone is called a huanca? That is a massive huanca, if I've ever seen one. Don't you agree? Pyramidal mineral. Look how intact that staircase is. It's crazy. And that's the size of this pyramid. See how big it is. Can't really tell from here how large this place was. Well, this site is so big that we lost the entry point. That we lost the entry point. It's so big. And there's some wooden huts there, but behind them there's some more structures way into the distance. That's where we started the tour. Yeah, it's crazy. It's enormous. Yeah? It's like enormous. I think we've been here over than walked for over an hour now. Yeah, we have. Right, so we're standing outside the Greater Pyramidal Building. Look at the size of this one. Absolutely huge. It had two wings on either side. And its position here, it gave great visual control over the whole city. So from the from this pyramid, from this greater pyramid, they could see everything that was going on over the entire city. And they found the body of a boy sacrificed. They found the body, body of a young boy that was sacrificed. God. But it's absolutely enormous. Uh, let's have a look at the photos. This is one of the residential sectors of the city. It goes out, you know, way under the cover there, where the cover finishes, it goes further out there. And these are all the rooms of the residential sectors. They are quite small, to be honest. Each little area seems very small. Okay, so we finished the tour. It's a great tour, incredible city. Um, I think the tour is around this way, aren't they? Or maybe they're that way for now. Um, yeah, great tour. Incredibly large site, huge city, loads of pyramids. Definitely worth it. Yeah. Um, so now we're going to try and get Collectivo back uh, to the Supe district. Yeah. So hopefully we can get Collectivo back. Uh, so we just came back to Barranca. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear us, it's very loud. <laughs> so uh, turn up. It turned up that the, the collective didn't come to the archaeological site to get us. So uh, we went back to reception and the lady from reception, she was so kind and she rang someone. And uh, that person charged us 15 each to take us straight to Barranca. Yes. So we perfect. think the other person might have overcharged us. Maybe. By not much. Not much. It's 250. But yeah, another 15 each and we're back in Baranka now. Yeah, so, uh, we're going to go uh, to eat now. Yeah, so all in all, successful getting there and back. Yeah. Perfect. See you later. Okay, so we're back in the hotel now. Uh, we've had a great day and this is our last night in Baranka. We go to Juarez tomorrow morning. So all in all, I would say if you're heading north from Lima, Barranca is definitely a place you should stop. Yeah, I think so. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. It's just local vibes and... Yeah, exactly, nice local beach. vibes and it's a great base to go to the sacred city, mm -hmm. uh, Corral, which is a must visit really, to be honest. And we've done both, we've done Corral and we've done Asparo. 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 And I think if you don't have time, do one. And to be honest, the Carmel obviously was more impressive because it was normal, enormous. But you could do Asparo, it's as good and it's um, closer and it's cheaper. So I think, well, I think Corral's better. It, it, yeah, yeah, it's definitely better. But if you're not fast, you're seeing similar things. Yeah, you can just a smaller version, smaller version is Aspero. Yeah, if you um, don't have time, you don't have money. Yeah, just go to the local one. Yeah, Aspero is closer, it's yeah. easier to get to. Yeah, uh, price wise, it'll cost you an extra 15 
souls to get there, which is three pounds each way. Each way. So six. So three pounds each way to go to the more impressive site of Corral. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely yeah, stop in Branca. It's nice enough town, and you've got a really nice beach as well. Mm -hmm. You're right on the beach, so you can either relax here. Relax here one day on the beach and then go to the Sacred City. And it's quite cheap to eat as well. We found yeah. this local uh, restaurant which we've been to twice. Yeah, right in town, right in the main square. And we found a really nice dessert shop yes. uh, on the corner, on the square. On the square as well, there's a great uh, dessert really shop. Good. So uh, we've been there twice and we went tonight to a different um, place, uh, dessert shop. It was not as good. So not as good. Oh. Yeah. Doorbell? Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is our last night. Uh, another thing is, there's no tourists here. Yeah, we like didn't literally see any. haven't seen one yeah. other non-Peruvian tourist. Yeah. Yeah. So it's literally just us. There were Peruvian tourists, obviously, at the beach, but in town, no. No, no one. Yeah. But a quite cool thing is, no one really stared at us. No one was bothered. We were taking the colectivos. Again, no one was staring, no one was bothered. They were just telling us where to get in, where to get out. And yeah. Yeah. It feels very safe as well. Here. Yeah, actually, we, twice, two evenings in a row, we were outside uh, walking in the dark. Fine. Yeah, and it's busy in the town. Like, yeah. the square right now is eight, half eight yeah. or something, and it's just very busy in the square. So it feels very safe. Yeah, um, right. But yeah, we've got to move on now. We've had three nights here, so we're going to Juarez a little bit. I don't know, unsure about what this is going to bring because it's the altitude is quite high. Yeah. And, and I remember when we went to Cusco years ago, Kasha struggled quite a bit. Mm. And recently she's been struggling with altitude. So yeah, so I'm dreading. We're going straight from the coast up to there. Always happens to us, yeah? yeah like so we never plan this right. So we're going to get there maybe in the afternoon, do nothing, and then maybe do nothing the next day so we can acclimatise. Yeah. Because we've got some things we want to do, but that's going even higher, and we could know, feel proper sick. It, yeah. It's usually yeah. It's, it just affects my lung or heart or whatever. It yeah. Is. So. That's the plan. So we're gonna get the bus tomorrow morning. We've already booked it on Red Bus. So, yeah. So uh, we're gonna go there tomorrow. And go to Juarez. So that's the end of Barranca. It's yeah. been great. So see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.